you keep your mouth shut during this period. You don't say a thing because you're going to say something that people don't like. But then we complain like. and we say, hey, come on, you guys, keep your mouth shut come because out here and talk about your exposure. You, know, you speak softly and you wait to that level where you think the shorts have overdone the stock and then you do what Dick Fold did in, mm -hmm. in 1998. You pick up the phone to guys like me and you say, 32 bid, 1 million, and then you get whacked and you come back and say 31 bid for 2 million. They're not doing that. That just that inspires more fear. I don't want to create fear. I like Bear Stearns very much, but mm -hmm. I think that at this stage, this is not a good call. They shouldn't have done it, and they should have just said, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're doing well, and don't say another mm -hmm. thing. Just don't say it, because just, it does not... It does not inspire confidence to have 10 headlines coming over about what to do. I don't like it. All right, I hear you. Now, I still, though, you know, when we said, and, hey, and, look, the Dow can rally. We, we've seen the Dow no, rally. No, I know. I'm far. not even, but I mean, it's right. just interesting, this, this bigger... Well, this is about companies. Bernanke. This is about Bernanke. He has to be on that call. Forget the investors. The investors are going to do... If Bernanke, listens, sure Bernanke, Bernanke, Bernanke needs, needs to open the discount the window. That's how bad things are out there. Bernanke needs to focus on this. Alan Greenspan told everyone to take a teaser rate and then raise the rate 17 times. And Bernanke is being an academic. It is no time to be an academic. It is time to get on the Bear Stearns call. Listen, open the darn Fed window. He has no idea how bad it is out there. He has no idea. He has no idea. Kramer. I have talked to the heads of almost every single one of these firms in the last 72 hours, and he has no idea what it's like out there. None! And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. My people have been in this game for 25 years, and they are losing their jobs, and these firms are going to go out of business, and he's nuts! They're nuts! They know nothing! Kramer. I have not seen I, it like this I, since I, I went five bid for a half a million shares of Citigroup when I got hit in 1990. This is a different kind of market, and the Fed is asleep. Okay, but here's the thing. Bill Poole is a shame. He's shameful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he you're ought to go and read the accredited home second. document. At least I read the darn thing. Hold on, I know you're passionate, and I hear you, but, but, but at the same time, a lot of people are saying this is, yes, it, there's certain types of mortgages that aren't available. There are, you there can't are all get sorts a of darn issues. loan but if you have rich like say, me. But Kramer, but Kramer, if he did what you said, which seems to me from the way cut you the just explained yourself. Cut, cut, it, it. cut the rate. Open the discount window. Okay, cut the rate. We'll leave the next pressure. Week and cuts rates. We'll leave the pressure. You're going to have, that's going to cause Armageddon. No, we have Armageddon. I wouldn't try to cause it. We, get, we have Armageddon. In the fixed income markets, we have Armageddon. No, but that's not we what they say. We have Armageddon. They say, even when, you, when I've talked to a couple if banks, they, CEOs, the they don't rate, say it's Armageddon. Well, who they I, say it's repricing. They're very firm about oh, that. Oh, great. Now. Okay, well, let them be calm and then have them call me on the way home like they do every night and tell me, Kramer, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to help us? Are you going to help us? Are you going to stand on the sideline like everybody else and say that it's fine? Will somebody come on TV and tell the truth about how bad it but is? But a lot of people say, these same people say, it's not Ben Bernanke and the rate that matters. The bond market That's now wrong. is completely it is separate rate. from It's the entirely rate. the The bond rate. market is trading no, separately it's entirely from the rate. rate. We, look, we, we'll spend billions in Iraq to build homes. We are going to have thousands of people. We have thousands of people losing yes. their homes right now. 14 million people took a mortgage in the last three years. 7 million of them took teaser rates or took piggyback rates. Mm -hmm. They will lose their homes. This is crazy. Yes. I am I, sorry to be upset about it, but you have to understand what they're saying to me off the record before I come in here every night and every day. And what I hear from these blowhard managers who act like, call someone for heaven's sake. Go call someone. I worked at fixed income at Goldman Sachs. This is not the time to be complacent. All right. I That's mean, Jordan, sometimes I wish I didn't know anybody so I could just sit here and say, you know what? Just go buy some Washington Mutual and take that yield. Unfortunately, I know too many people, and I'm too darn old. You are 62. I've Actually, been around 63. for too long. I mean, look, i got to tell you, he has got to listen to this. He's got to call somebody. Bernanke has to call someone. He is. He just has to he's call. Not, I can't he believe he's just sitting there in his little no, gilded no, office. No, no, no. They're not calling anybody. Okay. And Bill Poole? Bill Poole? I know what you Bill think Poole, Bill Poole, listen to me. There was a president by the name of Hoover, Okay. And no one thinks much of him hey, now, the great engineer. How you been? You Couldn't feeling be you feeling strong? You feeling Couldn't confident? Yeah, I feel feel real good about this market. It's a great market, great stock market. <laughs> yeah. <coughs>
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you're a big fan of, of roller coaster rides. Right. And when they you go up, go down, mm -hmm. hopefully you end at the same place. Sometimes you don't. Do you have to put a, a Dramamine patch behind your ear before you go into work in the morning so you don't vomit around noon? You know, I did feel like throwing up when we were down 800 points today. It, mm -hmm. Maybe a cathartic throw up, but I, had, I wasn't able to keep anything, uh, you know, couldn't eat anything all now, day. Let, let's, you know, um... Uh, I want to make this interview as quickly as possible because there might be a run on my bank. Totally right. But um, <laughs> a year ago, we had you on the show after you had a little meltdown on your show on CNBC. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. But at the time, you said that this coming credit crisis was going to be Armageddon. It was going to be the end of the world. World. Nobody knows anything. People are going to lose their houses. People are going to lose their jobs. They know nothing. They know nothing. In retrospect, don't you think you were too calm? Uh, you know, you may be right. You were a prophet. I tried. I did. You know, if I had only been more effusive, mm -hmm. right? Why did you hide your feelings, is what I want to know. Is, the, is this what you were talking about, what's happening now? Yeah, actually, yes. I, mm -hmm. I, it wasn't that I was clairvoyant. I have a lot of friends who I knew were going to lose their jobs and mm -hmm. was just kind of saying, listen, it's all over. The Western financial world is over. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait, some of, us, some of us have some money in the Western financial world. Let's Still? Not, that, <laughs> yes. Still. Yes, wow. we thought you were kidding a year ago. No, I, I, my last prediction that was cut off was that your ATM will stop working. You'll go and there'll be no cash in there. I've got to go. Uh, let's get through this thing. Um, let, let's count the different ways sure. this is Bill Clinton's fault. Um, too much regulation, right? Too much regulation. Mm -hmm. Fanny Freddie. Bad. 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 And bad, fault. bad. 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 Because he expanded that, right? Well, they were allowed to lend to anybody who walked in. Yeah. Anybody who walked in got what a got four thousand dollars. giving loans to people who need money? It's outrageous. Right. Outrageous, but it's also they were set up to do that. Mm -hmm. you know, they were set up to give people loans who couldn't get them otherwise. So that's so that's it. It, it, it was it was these it was the government that did it. Well, uh, everybody participated, but the government did have a lot to do with it. Yes. Okay. Yes, it did. So we we can safely not blame this. On, on, on the Bush administration. No, you can't. Actually, you can't blame it on the you Bush You cannot. Administration. No, you can't. They were actually... <laughs> you can't. You actually can't. Thank you. I'd love to, but you can't. Okay. It just doesn't work. It's All right. just historically inaccurate. All right. So whose fault is this? Well, I mean, the Democrats wanted them to be able to lend to anybody. I love you. And Go ahead. It is, tr it is true. It mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. uh, because the Democrats got a lot of campaign contributions mm -hmm. from Fannie and Freddie and mm -hmm. vice versa. It was a big circle. Uh, the Republicans did believe that everybody, you know, we had this, everybody should own a house thing, uh, including uh, people right. who were undocumented. Or one person and, should own every house. That's John McCain's idea. He does, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a lot right. of houses. Right. He's, got, he's got, like, all the greens and yellows, like, on Monopoly. Um, is, is there, is, is there, um... Is there anything we could do to put confidence back in the market? Why isn't $700 billion enough? How insecure is the market? Market's frightened of its own shadow. Market mm -hmm. comes in. It's and a groundhog. It, it, yes. Yes. It's a groundhog. So it saw its own shadow yeah. today, it own shadow. and we'll get six more months of, uh, of, of dropping down. I, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. i got to talk to Paulson, the Treasury Secretary, because that's a very apt depiction. Yes, it saw its own shadow, and it got scared. That's what happened today. What yeah. should I be investing in? Should, is, is this, if, if we're going into another deep, deep economic crisis, is this like the Depression? Should I invest in fedoras and bread crust? 